Hi there, I'm Leela Abadi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a physical therapist and I treat a lot of not common type of physical therapy complaints. You know, patients are coming to me with these complex type of questions and problems. And one of the issues that some of my patients go see the doctor for is rib pain. My rib is out, my rib is painful, something just doesn't feel right. Can you feel this right here? And it just seems to be a little protruding and it wasn't before. So. There are, you know, orthopedic surgeons that are rib specialists and patients go to the doctor, they have an x-ray, they maybe have a CT scan, things are clear, there's no pathology, no disease, and then patients are still somewhat left with pain. So what's interesting is, I'm going to use my little Mr. Bones here, is that there is a rib and in between every rib is meat muscle. So sometimes for those non-vegan people, as you're eating spare ribs, that's the intercostal muscle. And that can go into spasm. So when it goes into spasm, the ribs somewhat get too close. So when one side is shifting away, then the other side compresses. So if I have my ribs positioned, and then one side kind of shifts away, this side will actually move in and compress. So then pay, people wind up having rib pain. It can happen on this side, it can happen on the other side, however it works out. The body is amazing because it wants to keep your eyes level with the horizon. So then what it will do it will shift out and then your head will start to pitch in the opposite direction to keep you level. So one little injury can then start to migrate and become other issues over time. So then people start with, well I started having rib pain here and now my neck hurts over here. And then the weirdest thing happened is that when I was running I felt rib clicking or rib pain on my left. So these things kind of fall into a cascading set of events. So we're able to go in and treat the muscles in between and release them, then also then mobilize and treat out the bones and put them in the place where they're supposed to be again, and then move up and kind of create the normalcy within your, your cranium and or check your pelvis to see where things are rotated or moving. So that's how we treat rib pain and rib dysfunction. So I hope that little YouTube video helped you and you're able to get care. And come on in to New Dimensions. See you soon.